Hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Elevate Church. I'm Emily and I'm so excited to go on an adventure today. Are you? Before we do that, let's begin in prayer. So repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day you've given us. Thank you for allowing us to gather here today and learn more about you. Thank you for all you do and for loving us every single day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now let's go on an adventure. As I reflect, I find perspective. They're in the best and worst days of this life. You are always on my side. You're in the pain, you're in the promise. And on the days of furnace finds my
I really don't know how to read this. I know how to read it from my phone, but considering that there's no service out here, I really don't know how to read this. Let me see it. What? What does this say? Uh, Africa, Asia, Europe. Canada, North America, South, South America. Let me see the other map. I can't get it. Oh, wait, I got it. Here we go. Looks like we need to go this way. <gasps> so pretty. Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. 
There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah. But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others Aww. because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them, <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <laughs> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. <laughs> On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Aww. Aww. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Mister, it was not nice for you to leave me out in the middle of nowhere with no food, no water, no way to even know where to go. But you know what? I forgive you. And I brought you a flower too. Well, thanks. I do you know you had the map the whole time though? So today we learned all about forgiveness. Just as Joseph forgave his brothers, you too could forgive those that hurt you. We've been talking about how to make our life his story. And the first step in doing that is by making Jesus the Lord of your life. When you choose to give your life to Jesus, you become a part of God's family. If you've never done that before, I wanna give you a chance right now. Simply say this prayer out loud after me. Believe what you say with all your heart and you will become a part of God's family. Say this after me. Dear God, I believe you sent Jesus to die for me. And I believe you raised him from the dead. Jesus, I make you my Lord. You are number one in my life. Amen. Great job, you are now a part of God's family. If you're asking the question, what do I do now? There are two things that you need to do. First, you need to tell somebody. If you know someone that loves Jesus, tell them. They love to celebrate with you. Second, ask your parents to take you to church. One of the best ways for you to know Jesus is by learning about Him at church. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4, verse 32. Okay guys, let's do it together. I need to repeat after me and don't forget the actions. Be kind and compassionate to one another. 
forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4, verse 32. That was great, you guys. Let's do it one more time. Don't forget the actions. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other. Just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4, verse 32. That was great, you guys. Woohoo! Goodbye, we'll see you later. Let me see you.